I'm Dr. Young. I'm one of the subject matter experts here at Chegg. In this video, we will look at some reasons behind why market outcomes may not always be efficient. We have seen that the free market reaches an equilibrium outcome. Using the tools of consumer and producer surplus, we can see that the equilibrium outcome is the point where resources are allocated most efficiently. This is because the total surplus, the sum of consumer and producer surplus, is largest at equilibrium. However, to show that the market outcomes are efficient, we make a few assumptions about how the markets work. Our first assumption is that the markets we are looking at are perfectly competitive. However, in actual economies, competition may be far from perfect. An example of this is when a single buyer or seller can influence the market prices and or quantity. This situation is known as market power. When a buyer or seller can keep the price and quantity away from the levels determined by the equilibrium, it can make the market outcome inefficient. Our analysis of market efficiency is also based on the assumption on that the outcome in the market matters only to the buyers and sellers who participate in the market. However, sometimes the decisions of buyers and sellers affect people who are just bystanders. And this situation is known as the externality problem. A common example of externality is pollution. When farmers buy pesticides for their use in farms, this transaction can affect not only the manufacturers of pesticides and the farmers, but other people who are not engaged in this transaction. The pesticide can contaminate drinking water and pollute the air, and everyone that breathes the foul air or drinks polluted water is affected by the pesticide. When a market exhibits these effects, the buyers and sellers ignore their impact on the bystanders and when deciding how much to consume and to produce. This results in the equilibrium outcome being inefficient from the standpoint of society as a whole. Market power and externalities are examples of market failures. This is the inability of some unregulated markets to allocate resources efficiently. Hopefully, our lesson today on the assumptions of markets and the examples of market failure has helped you to better understand how and why markets result in efficient outcomes. While this video discussed externality and market power as examples of market failures, please note that market failures could also arise from other sources, such as public goods and asymmetric information. Come visit us at Chegg for additional help and resources, including connecting with a subject matter expert.